Hello. In this video we shall be looking at cipher feedback mode. We shall look at what cipher feedback mode is and how it works in encrypting and decrypting data streams. CFP is a form of encryption mode to change a block cipher to a stream cipher. The block cipher that we are going to use is DES. It normally is. Encryption is used to ensure messages transmitted between computers are protected against eavesdropping by obfuscating the plain text or the message. In CFP, input is processed as bits at a time. Preceding cipher text is used as the input to the encrypted algorithm to produce pseudo-random output. In fact this part is a cycle until the whole plain text has been converted to cipher text. The output goes through exclusive or operation with the plain text to produce the next unit of cipher text. You will see this in the coming illustrations. Let's see how CFP works during encryption. Initialization vector is a 64-bit block of input. Its primary purpose is to ensure that the algorithm produces different cipher texts every time even for the same plain text. The initialization vector need not be kept private, but you should ensure its integrity. The next input is the key. It's 56-bit and should be kept private. The DES algorithm then produces a pseudo-random block of data. We select S bits from it, select S bits of the plain text P1 and XOR to get cipher text C1. C1 is used in the next sequence to follow. We then shift the IV by S bits and continue the operation. Select the next set of S bits from plain text and XOR to produce with cipher text C2. This process continues until all of the plain text is converted to cipher text. Encryption done. Let's see how CFP works during decryption. Decrypting is similar to encrypting. We use the IV used for the encryption. The next input is the 56-bit key and then encrypt it to produce the pseudo-random block of data. We select S bits from it, select S bits of the cipher text C1, instead of the plain text and XOR to get plain text P1. P1 is used in the next sequence to follow. We then shift the IV by S bits, and continue the operation. Select the next set of S bits from cipher text C2 and XOR to produce with plain text P2. This process continues until all of the plain text is converted to cipher text. Decryption done. That's all folks.